Mopar fans, look what I got for you. All right, just permission to drool. Go ahead. Told you. I told you I'd get you some Mopars. They're not as easy to find as the GM cars are, but there's some out there, and I'm, I'm working my leads, trying to get you some, and I got this one today. This super nice gentleman right here in Youngsville reached out to me and told me he had these, this car. He wanted me to come by and take a video of it, so thank him very much for that. His name's Sean. He's a super nice guy. Please thank him for allowing me to film this car. It's a 1970 Dodge Challenger. Okay, it's Hemi Orange. That is the original color. Obviously, it's been repainted. He wants to put one more final wet sand and buff on it. I don't know why, because it looks damn gorgeous to me. But he's I've seen enough of his work. He's a perfectionist. So it's still not quite finished. You can see the moldings. I mean, the uh, side marker light's not in, and the badges are not on it yet. It's got a set of Riddler wheels on it. And it was originally a 318 car with a three-speed manual. He's put a 440 from a C body. That door's locked. He's put a 440 from a C body in it. And a Hemi Spline four-speed eight and three, eight, eight, 833 uh, Mopar transmission. It does have a eight and three-quarter rear end in it, as you can see. Look how nicely detailed it is up under here, man. That's nice. Look at the shocks. Oh my god. Nice, look at that brand new fuel tank. Very nice car. It's got the Challenger TA style spoiler on the back. That is nice. And the flip top gas cap. This was a well done car. He showed me some pictures of it and he's he did all the work himself. And we'll go around here to the inside. It, it was originally black and he just dyed the seats to make them a little bit prettier. And it's got that patented Mopar buzzer. And you know that sound from these old early Mopars. Pistol grip shifter. Man, check this car out. Is this not beautiful or what? Personally, I like the older Challengers better than the new ones. It's just me. I know everybody's got their opinion, but these older ones are a little bit smaller, a little bit lighter, and they would flat run. No doubt about it. They would flat get it done. All right, he's going to fire it up for us, and uh, we're going to... Uh, Pop the hood after he fires it up. Look at there, just like a Chevrolet, she fired right up, man. Ain't that something? Just unreal. Let's see. Let me get a little help getting the hood up. All right, there she is. There's that C-body 440 engine. The intake manifold on this is an L block. It's going to look right there. I actually sold him this intake manifold. About a, I guess about a year or so ago. Look at that thing. Man, she is humming. It's been converted to a rack and pinion. And it's got a aftermarket power steering system on it. Look at that one. Look at the braided, the braided power steering hoses. What brand was that? What brand was that rack again? Unisteer. Unisteer. <clears throat> Got a Unisteer rack and pinion on it. Oh, great car. It's got a SSPC a stainless stainless aluminum a steel sleeve aluminum caliper. Is that right? Stainless steel caliper. Okay. For the SSPC. Pat the Challenger grill. Man, that's a, that's a beautiful car. Look how that thing sounds. Look like you hear the exhaust. She's sweet, sweet. Listen to that. Look at this tailpipe. It's running good. Nice and clean. Inside the trunk looks good. Nicely done car. Very nice. This gentleman does some really good work. And he does it out of this little shop right here on his house, folks. You don't need no big fancy shop. You just need skill. <laughs> this thing sounds amazing. And that's a C-Body 400, 440, folks. Don't kill yourself over a, getting the correct 440. Make it happen, folks. Make your projects happen. Again, I want to thank Sean for letting us do this. Please uh, subscribe to my channel and like my channel. Hit that little bell for notifications. When new stuff comes up, you'll be notified. 
comment. Please comment. Tell Sean how beautiful this car is. Be cool. These guys, they put their heart into these cars. They, everybody's got their own taste. You know this is a cool car. Like it. Share some love. Yeah, so we're doing this COVID thing. The car shows aren't happening right now, so we're trying to get out and enjoy these cars. And I have seen some beautiful ones. I've got a bunch coming up. And uh, I really think this is cool that he's letting us do this. Okay, listen to that thing per. Ain't that something? All right, folks. We're going to cut it loose here. Y'all take care.